Hey everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Technologies team here in the School District of Waukesha. And this is another one of our Vanguard training workshop videos. This one focuses on screencasting um, and screen recording and a tool that's built right into your Mac to do that. The tool we're talking about is the QuickTime uh, Player tool. It's a free tool that comes with your Mac. There are upgrades to a QuickTime Pro, but this is the free one that comes uh, built in with your Mac. And we like it because it's a pretty versatile tool. So um, we're going to jump right into it. And as we go through it, hopefully you'll begin to see um, some of the some of the ways that you could possibly use it. So um, just so the for the sake of clarity, I am screen capturing this with a different program because it's difficult to screen capture a screen capture program with with it with itself. So uh, I am using Camtasia to re, to screencast this, but we really want to focus on a free version here, which is the QuickTime. So as always, anything uh, in our Mac, there's three ways to get to anything, it seems like. If QuickTime is sitting in your uh, dock already, it, there it is, there's the icon for it, you can go find it that way. Or we can come on up to our Spotlight search and search QuickTime Player right there. We can find it in our launch pad, we can find it in applications folder, lots of ways to get to it, but we're gonna launch it there. So I've launched it and immediately you'll see that this is what appears up here, QuickTime Player, and nothing more. There's no windows that pop up. QuickTime Player doesn't open anything automatically. All it does is open the menu bar there. But that's all I need. When I get started, I click File. And I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it there. So one of the things we love about QuickTime Player um, is the ability to do lots of different things. We've shown you Photo Booth in other videos. Here, uh, though, you'll see that you can do a lot of different things with QuickTime Player. I can make a movie recording. This means that it's going to turn on my onboard video camera, and I can use that to, to record myself, just like I would with Photo Booth or a different program. But that's one option I've got. New audio recording lets me create MP3s and AAC files so that I can just send out audio. Uses the onboard uh, microphone or screen recording, which is what we're going to focus on here today. So a screen recording or a screencast allows you to capture anything that's on your desktop. And so that's what we're going to do is a new screen recording. Now, when I open up uh, my new screen recording, um, this little playhead appears and one of the things you're going to want to do the first time is just check and see that you have a, a volume and so right now you can see I've got good volume uh, every time I speak in a normal tone it fills up pretty well here um, but in order to add that I just click this little drop down arrow and I can change my different microphones it generally comes as a default of none I go to built-in microphone internal microphone uh, if you have a better microphone that you've got plugged in, built-in input would be one way to do it. The other thing that I like to do is click Show Mouse Clicks and Recording so that when you click, there's a little icon that shows the viewer that you've clicked on something. So I, I tend to get those things worked out right away before I get too deep into it. And so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and click the red record button. And you'll notice right here it says click to record the full screen so if i just click again i'm going to get a full screen or i can drag out and just get a particular portion of my screen just by dragging out like that so now only the things inside of that box are what is going to be viewable um, to those who are watching my end product here i click start recording and so now I can start bringing things inside of that. Oh, let's just grab a Google Chrome bar here quick. And what you can see is my white area is the record area, and it's recording live. And then my gray area is everything else that isn't visible. So if I were doing this as a full screen, everything would be visible. But if I just needed to get it down to a specific screen, I can do that as well. Okay, so then I can do whatever I need to do there and do some sort of Google search. There we go, if I can spell, and we can be off and running and see what's going on for today. So uh, when I am done, up here at the top, this little uh, circle with a square in it, when I click that, that is going to end my screencasting. And there you go. There's our first video uh, screen recording made with a... Uh, QuickTime player. Now, what do I do with it from there? A couple of things that I can do with it from there. 
Um, one thing that I like about being able to do this is I can actually go in and split it up if I need to do that. So I can take it right there and I can split the clip into two and I can get rid of a portion of it. So now this is just the first portion. So it's got some minor editing built into it right away. I'll click down there. So now I've got a much shorter video cleaned up a little bit. I can also export it, which is generally what you'll want to do with that. So I go ahead and I export it out as 720p, give it a title on your Mac, tell it where you want it to save it. And then this is what I use to upload my videos to YouTube, whatever that file has been outputted as. So um, just to kind of quick run through on what you can do with it. The longer the video, obviously, the longer uh, it is going to take to render that out. Another option I have if I forget to export it is I can close it and it will basically ask you to export it there and save it. I'm not going to do that for this particular one. So I'm going to close this one up here quickly. Zoom out quick. All right. And just wanted to show you uh, another little trick that I use. And so sometimes when you're doing screencasting, especially with students, you might want to uh, be able to have them see you and one of the things that this free program doesn't allow is it doesn't allow you to do that when you are screencasting you're truly screencasting without the possibility of seeing yourself unless we get creative and use another little tool so in our mac world we've got a tool called facetime and what facetime does is a communication tool with others who have apple products remember when i screen record it screen records anything that's on the screen so there you are how you doing there is my video, and if I if it's really important that I be in the video for whatever reason, um, maybe to make a better connection with the students or to make things easier, um, even to play videos or things like that, I can just bring my FaceTime option out here. Again, I could have got FaceTime just by searching in, in Spotlight Search and grabbed it that way. But now I'm going to trick it. I'm going to do a screen recording again. Quick time comes up. New screen recording. My audio is working. I'm going to do a full screen this time. So now I'm recording and I've got the best of both worlds. I can pull out and have my full screen version of whatever it is I'm working on, but I can jump right back to me. And so we get a little bit of both worlds and they can, and you can interact with the students that way and they can see you again. I hop back up here to stop my recording and there's my finished video that I can export and save. So, QuickTime does a lot of different things. It's a great little tool. It's built right into the Mac. I have it right on my dock because I use it literally every day. Um, and as you're thinking about how you can make lessons come alive, how you can be, come, be in more places at once to, to offer that more personalized version of learning, this is going to be a great tool for you. And uh, I'm thankful that we've got it. So again, I'm Brian. Thanks for your time. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them our way and we'll be happy to answer them.